today's video is going to be a bit different, but I think it's going to be fun. Over the last couple of days, I've been kind of going from store to store, doing my crafting haul, gathering up all the items and the supplies and everything that I need to do my holiday videos, um, my crafting holiday videos, that is. And so I thought it'd be fun to show you all the things I've gotten. And so if you like what you see and you're interested in doing some of the projects that I'm gonna be doing here in the next couple weeks, you can go run out to the stores that I've gotten them at right now that are on sale at whatever store, if they're on sale at a store or at the dollar store, you can go get some of these items and craft along with me. And so I thought that that would be kind of a fun idea. I hope it works. Hope somebody goes out and decides that they're gonna craft with me over the next couple weeks. So I gotta be honest with you, over the last couple weeks, the dollar store, or I guess I should say the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store have been good to me. There have been some awesome finds there over the last couple weeks that I'm super excited about. And I wanted to show you exactly what it is I've gotten there. So if you're interested, you can go and grab some of this stuff too for almost nothing. Most of the supplies that I've gotten are going to be used in my crafting videos. And so like, it, like I say in all my crafting videos, I craft on a budget. And so that, that really is no joke. I'm a crafty, thrifty person when it comes to you know, doing all the fun things that I like to do on the videos. And I like to do them for as cheap as I can get them, but I also want them to be beautiful and nice and something that I can give away. So let's start off with some of the things that I found. One of my favorite finds ever. Dollar, do, no, this was actually the 99 cent store. Solar lights, yard stake solar lights. I cannot wait to bring this video to you. You are gonna love what I do with these. I have a couple different videos that I have for these. A dollar, so go, go to the 99 cent store and pick a few of these up. They've got them with the chrome and they've got some that are just black. I like them with the chrome on them and you can tell which ones have are genuinely the chrome ones because they have the chrome stick. If the stick is black, then the chrome lid didn't fall off of it because I kind of had that problem with some of them. And it is mid-September right now and I could not pass these up. I usually like to make things myself, but it is a yard pumpkin solar light for a dollar. I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to put them out for Halloween. I also found at the Dollar Tree bags of autumn leaves. And I have gotten my autumn leaves at uh, Walmart and they do have them for 98 cents at Walmart, but I really loved the color of these. And these were colors that Walmart did not have. There's like golds and greens and just uh, some shimmery metallic leaves in these that I absolutely loved. And I have, I think two or three projects that I'm going to be using autumn leaves for. So this is, was another fantastic find. I also found, where did it go? I also found autumn wired ribbon. Yeah, this was amazing. I found this at the Dollar Tree and this is for nine feet. No kidding, I bought a harvest ribbon, wired ribbon at Walmart, nine feet for $2.97. And I just got these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I love how cute they are. They're not, they are just as cute as the ones that I bought at Walmart. This I am extremely excited about. These peat pots. These are for planning, planting organically and you're supposed to have healthier plants with these, but we are not planting with these. I am so excited. I have a few projects for these. I think I have about six different projects that I am going to be using these for and there are 16 of them in this pack for a dollar at the dollar store. And actually if you go to, actually it was the 99 cent store. If you go to the 99 cent store right now, they are buy one, get one free, and that is 50 cents for these. And they have tons of them there. So go get yourself some peat pots because I know at my 99 cent store, I bought them out because for 50 cents and the amount of projects that I have with these, oh my goodness, I couldn't get enough of these. I genuinely am excited about these. Okay, and 
the Dollar Tree sells these serving trays for a dollar. They have them in oval, they have them in round, and they have rectangle ones for a dollar each. I cannot wait to bring you the project for these. I have a couple different projects with these. These are gonna be so stinking adorable that you are gonna wanna go to the Dollar Tree and get some of these because you're gonna love the projects I have in store for these. I also, when we were at the Dollar Tree the other day, um, came across these pizza plates or pizza cookie sheets, I guess, to cook your pizzas on. I'm telling you, I have the best idea for what I'm gonna do with these and you need two, maybe three of them and you need a smaller plate to go with it. I know it seems odd, but got these at the Dollar Tree, bought three of them. No, actually I bought four of these because I'm doing two of the project that I'm doing with this and a small plate. And I have two of these small plates. I found these LED tea lights at the Dollar Tree for 99 cents. I have got the cutest project ever for these for Christmas time, so beware and stay tuned for this. The Dollar Tree also had adorable Christmas ribbon. How many yards is this? Three yards of ribbon, adorable Christmas ribbon for a dollar. You cannot beat that. And I also found these stickers. And I don't usually, um, to be honest with you, I don't usually buy stickers because I have a Cricut cutter. But for a dollar, and when I saw how cute these were, I could not pass them up. And it just so happened that one of my projects I need snowflakes for, and they needed to be a sticker-like snowflake, and I was gonna cut them out with my Cricut and just um, adhere them onto my project. But when I saw these for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. And with the tree and the reindeer and the snowman and the bows, like I just, I had to get some because sometimes just having something made a little bit easier is kind of nice. And so these stickers were a dollar. And then of course, I always need Velcro. And you know, you get Velcro at Walmart for $1.97 or $2.97 and I just got 12 dots for a dollar. I also bought some of these plastic hooks. Okay, here, this is a 12 pack. Let me tell you what I do with these. These are the best hooks ever because they are the ones that you can take off the wall easily. The sticker that's on it comes off easily. And I use these for the kids stockings because I don't hang the stockings up um, over my fireplace. I hang them up in the hallway and I don't want nails and I don't want thumbtacks in my wall where I'm constantly patching up the holes. So I will go around this time every year and I will buy these at the dollar store because you can get 12 of them for a dollar versus at Walmart. I am thinking they're like $5, $6, for even a 12 pack of these. And so also what I do with these, which is another fantastic idea, is I put these outside on each of my windows. That is the front facing windows of my front yard. I put them on the metal of each pane and that way I can hang wreaths in each of my windows outside and take them down at the end of the year because then I don't mind throwing a dollar away after I've gotten all the wreaths hung up and the stockings hung up. And I'll put them on my security gate outside to hang up decorations as well and you get 12 of them so you find 12 spots to hang these for a dollar you won't mind throwing them away at the end of the season the holiday season so another good idea put them on your windows outside so you can hang up your wreaths another um find that i'm excited about so kayla's birthday is coming up pretty soon and um, she's going to be 16 and she's having a big sweet 16 party this year that we're throwing her and um, I just didn't want to go out and, you know, she's inviting quite a few kids and I'm not really sure how many are coming, but whether it's 30, 50, like I don't want to spend, you know, I, I'm not a big, 
let's say I'm not a big cake person. I don't like buying big sheet cakes anymore for the kids. I think it's just a lot easier to do cupcakes, but even cupcakes can be a bit pricey. And even when you go to Sam's Club or Costco, if you're buying, you know, 12 or 24 of them, you're paying $24.99 for 24 cupcakes. And if I have 50 kids coming over, I'm spending $50 on cupcakes. And I just don't want to do it. And I don't even want to spend $25 on cupcakes. And so um, I make the best cake ever. I'm just not like a very good, I guess I've always been pretty intimidated by decorating the cakes and I've never really tried my hand at it. But this year I decided, you know what, I'm going to try it. And so I decided, you know, I went looking at Joann's and Michael's and Walmart for cake decorating stuff and holy my word, it is super expensive. And I just was like, holy cow, maybe I'm going to rethink um, doing these cupcakes until I went to the dollar store and I found this cake decorating kit. And as I know, it is only a dollar and it is plastic. Um, I bought two of these and the other day I did a trial run of cupcakes and these tips, after some practice, these tips worked just fine. I had to alter them a little bit to do what I wanted them to do, which every crafter does. And I gotta be honest with you, um, I'm not looking for anything super fancy, but I want cupcakes that have, you know, the nice big bubble swirl on the top. That's what I want, and I made these do it for a dollar. And so, you know what, I can't beat that. And for Kayla's party, it is going, her cupcakes are probably gonna cost me, if I need to make 50 of them, it's probably gonna cost me like four bucks to do it, which is absolutely nothing. I mean, you just can't beat that. So this year, you know, I had three big birthdays. I had Ray, who just turned 21 a couple weeks ago, Kayla, who's turning 16 in a couple weeks, and Allie, who is turning five here in November. And um, we kind of wanted to make a big deal out of Ray and Kayla and Allie's birthdays. I don't usually go all out each birthday, um, decorative wise, or we don't always have huge birthdays every year, but we do have birthday parties for them. But this year I decided to go all out for each of them. And so, Allie's birthday is coming up in November and she wanted Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. She wanted everything Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy. She wanted all the characters. And so when I was at the dollar store today, as a matter of fact, um, I'm actually making almost all of Allie's de decorations from my Cricut cutter and Kayla's as well. But I'm finding myself overwhelmed and like I'm running out of time and so, um, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but for a dollar, I bought them just in case. They had these adorable 18 pack of cupcake wrappers and Mickey and Minnie little sticks that go on top of the cupcakes. And I was actually making, Allie, some decorative uh, Disney characters that go on top, but I, like I said, I'm running out of time right now with soccer and um, my other vlogging channel, Soccer Ball Kicks, and I just feel like there's not enough time in the days to do it. So I bought these just in case. Two bucks, if I don't use them, okay, I don't use them. Um, Dollar Store also has Disney characters. I am going to keep my eye out and I'm gonna continue going to get the rest of the characters because I wanna put these on Allie's individual cake. I am going to make her a small individual cake and um, I want to put the Disney characters on top of the cake. And if I can get all of the characters for $5, it's worth it as a cake topper. Um, they also had a cupcake stand for a dollar at the dollar store. You cannot beat that. And I'm, I was super excited to see this. And they also had 12 placemats. And so these placemats I'm gonna put under bowls and chips and on the tables and just wherever. But for a dollar, another decorative feature. That is so stinking cute. And so, oh, and then what else did I get? Now that I've showed you all my crafting stuff, Dollar Store also had these bottles. Oh my gosh, huge water bottles. I think they've gotta be like, oh, they're 66 ounces. They were buy one, get one free, 50 cents. And so Kayla definitely 
uh, wants a bigger one for soccer. And so when it's hot, she really likes having a bigger one. And so this was another killer steal buy for 50 cents. I could not pass that up. They also have their dollar candlesticks, which is another awesome crafting essential that I am going to be using over the next couple videos. And I couldn't pass these up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I loved them. They're not quite mason jars, but they, they are. And they were super cute. And these ones were pre-tinted. Um, they had a bit of a different cap on them, but I think the other, the mason jar, the Kerr ones fit on there. But for a dollar, I could not pass these up because I think that there's something I'll do with them. And so I got two of these. I got two green and two purple, which were really cool. And then they had no more left. I hope you all saw something here today that piqued your interest that you're kind of like, hmm, what is she going to do with that? Well, I can guarantee you it's something that you're going to love. Why don't you go make a quick trip to your local Dollar Tree or 99 cent store, pick up some of these items and come craft on a budget with me. So go do that and come craft with me. And until next time, bye for now.